Oh man. Clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> hmm. I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals! I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him, but Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Yeah, of North. course. <laughs> The Lost Stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to strike a land. Match day at Strikerland! And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with Paul Mentieri's Starman. The Master of Flair. The Samba King. John Aldo! Welcome to the end of the road. Ha! You think you can stop my Samba style? That's cute. Skilled as me, you do as you please. Ha <laughs> The Brazilian maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. Sure. You'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? <laughs> He says he's fine, as long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break, a chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we gonna do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. <whistles> North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? But it's the Amazon jungle, coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> Have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promise to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. And here's my Junior Wilderness Cadet Navigation badge, my Campfire badge, my Air Guitar badge, my Mime badge, my Listing Things badge, my Crochet badge, my Life of the Party badge, my Pancake Eating badge, my Growing Up badge, my Not Understanding Social Cues badge. Whoa, 
This is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out! This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet! Hold up, North! Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP. Right? Yeah, but... We got our gear, we got the players, all we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... Uh, some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... Watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North, didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax! It's a big corner! Yeah, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl. No, 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 no. It's the wind. Hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it! It's a waterfall! hang out in some lame hotel when we can go on an epic adventure. Huh? You didn't. That's right. We're gonna find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's some made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. Contact to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll be a fun landing. You sure about this? I've got a game to win. on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back to the way we came. You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill, it's an adventure, dude. <sighs> Well, come on, Mr. Ventura. Lead the way.
Okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Ah! Ouch! A hmm. So much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah. all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my junior wilderness cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> Because I'm a fake! I got all my Junior Wilderness Cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. Tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. We train at first light. of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Socks. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Then come on! Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yes. One, yes. two, three, <laughs> Super Strikers! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have 
to. Dancing Rasta makes a brilliant tackle. It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers. Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but my question is, how long can they keep it up? We're almost at half time. Don't let it slip now. And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Donaldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope, his movements are just too unpredictable. Super Strikers. second half is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the way North Shaw and Block played last game, Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm gonna make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've gotta make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it gonna help us if we can't get back in time for the game? Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. Now it's the forward's turn. <laughs> with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah. That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hmm? hates this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. We're in the final. 
final few minutes at Strikerland, and the score is still tied. But Laquito makes another break for goal. And he's fast as ever, 18 miles an hour. But if there's one man who can keep up with him, it's Twisting Tiger. 19 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour for Laquido. 21 for Tiger. From Laquido. But the ref says play on. Looks like you need a new lucky charm, bro. With Twisting Tiger on the ground, no one can catch Laquido. Goal! It's one nil to the visitors. And there's Laquido's signature shirt up celebration. Can you believe that guy? Yeah, Laquido totally fouled you, Tiger. Just wait till next game. You're gonna own him. Oh, please. If you think you're gonna get lucky at the floating stadium, you're wrong. I'm always faster at home. Voila! Hmm. Too much fat, too much sauce, and too much food. I need the guys lean and mean for the return leg. Pfft. I am Jacques Cousteau, creator of culinary intrigue. I am not here to help people diet. Sorry, Jacques. Extreme circumstances call for extreme preparation. Isn't that right, boys? <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome, coach. Uh, what are we doing in here? Rough? No, oh, nah. Well, it's quite possible Hydro are the fastest team in the Super League because of their ingress to the greatest natural resistance training apparatus in the known universe. Um, uh, can you translate that for the average human? <laughs> and also for El Matador, please. Hydro train underwater. These are going to be bigger. Exactly, Block. Water is a thousand times denser than air. Training in it will make playing on land seem like, well, actually running on air. <laughs> Okay, let's see if underwater training has made you any faster on land. Fastest first. Yeah, look out, Liquido. Tiger, you hit 24 miles per hour last game. Let's see if you can beat that. Gotcha, coach. 26! Unbelievable. Dude. Oh, man. And... The longer you train in water, the faster you'll be. We leave for the floating stadium in three days. Uh, back in the tank? Back in the tank. Seven years at ship school. Nine years at Bistro Bazanto. Six Michelin stars for this. What is this? It's what I call rice limage. Rice on a bit of more rice in the shape of your face. <laughs> Come on, coach. We've trained underwater the whole week. Can't we have some real food? Your training will count for nothing if you aren't lean and mean, boys. Yeah, coach. We're lean and you're mean. How about a deal? If we beat Hydra, we get to have an awesome feast right here on the way home. So, what do you say, coach? <sighs> sure. Yeah! <laughs> You ready to lose again? Don't be so sure, dude. Yeah, been doing some underwater training of our own. What? Did you practice in the bathtub? We train in the ocean. 
right up until the game. That's why we're always faster at home. Tiger hit 28 miles an hour. Yeah, that's right. He'd beat you for pace anytime, any place. Oh, yeah? How about right now? On the bottom of the ocean. What? I don't know about this, guys. Next level underwater training? A chance to show Liquido up? Come, Come on, on, dude! dude. <sighs> Fine. Compact breathing apparatus? Air lasts for ages. Comms device built into your mask. Good for dissing. <laughs> Weight belt. Stops you from floating back up to the surface. Helpful. have a choice. Been thrown in the deep end. You see anything? Too far down. Man, worst FOMO ever. Ready to be school. <laughs> One key, and he has it. Oh, uh, that sea snake. Yeah, what was I thinking? We gotta tell Coach. No, 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 no. Don't need to bother him, dude. We'll totally find the key. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, we got this. <sighs> Fine. Kurumulu. You've heard of the Super League, right? Now, low in fat, low in amoeba acids, and low in taste as well, I give you Super Legumes. Uh, beans? Yeah, beans. All worth it when we beat Hydra, boys. Any luck? Ah, <sighs> no sign of the key. Or Liquido. Tiger? Uh, Jock! So, how's the celebration menu coming along? It will be one of the finest meals I have ever made. And definitely the finest meal any of you have eaten. Really? Like, what are you thinking? Uh, how about hot dogs, Jock? Of <laughs> course! Yeah, you bet I'll make hot dogs! Dog. I would rather make the diet food. Stupid! Faulty chair? Uh, what a weak chair, right? I know what's going on here. Tiger. You haven't been sticking to the diet, have you? Uh, busted, Tiger. <laughs> Get back on track, Tiger. We need you in top form tomorrow. <sighs> T 
Too close. You guys said you'd get me out of this thing. Now do it! Telling coach. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. Oh, God, oh. oh no! This is bad. Uh, you must really feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. It isn't the weight of the world. It's Hydra's weight. Weren't you listening? Oh, sorry, guys. I've let everyone down. I was ready for this game, and now I'm useless. <sighs> Coach, we'll do whatever it takes to sort this out. Correct. You two are getting the toughest job on the pitch. Twisting Tiger's job. You're marking Liquido. Tiger, just because you're on the bench doesn't mean we don't need you 100% focused on this game. Sure, Coach. First health food, now. <clears throat> At dogs. I feel so ashamed. Hey, Mr. Chef, you open for business? <laughs> I am Jacques Cousteau. I serve kings, not peasants. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Game's about to start, and I gotta get my munch on. Yeah, we'll eat whatever. Prepare yourselves for the gourmet feast of a lifetime. Match day at the Floating Stadium. Oh boy, here we go, Brenda. Tiger versus Laquido, the battle of the speedsters. Uh, I don't think so, Mac. Uh, what is Coach thinking? He's put his fastest player on the bench. But, but, why? And we're off. Can Super Strikers contain Liquido without twisting Tiger? Shakes immediately marks Liquido. But you don't need a speed tracker to know he's just not fast enough. Too soon, Brenda. Too soon. Now <laughs> North is on Liquido. Coach isn't giving Hydra an inch. Laquito's through on goal! But great last-ditch tackle from North Shaw. <laughs> this is a good start from Super Strikers. Shakes and North are making life tough for Laquido. I don't know if I can keep this up for 90 minutes. Maybe we don't have to. Follow my lead. Prepare to have your taste buds enlightened. Uh, you don't do hot dogs? You said you did anything I served. Yeah, but it's a soccer match, bud. You gotta make hot dogs. Their dogs are for Super Strikers. If I give them to you, what would they eat? <laughs> Two dogs coming right up. We are well into the final third, and still no sign of Twisting Tiger. <laughs> wow, Liquido, you are fast. Huh. Don't you know it? Pity you don't have a chance to prove you're the fastest. Huh? Oh, Tiger did beat you on your underwater pitch. Uh, hello? I threw the underwater game? Sure you did, buddy. In a real race, I take Twisting Tiger any day. 
Oh, yeah? Prove it. <laughs> right. You want me to give you the key. Nice try. But this game ain't for pride. It's for points. Super Striker's two-on-one strategy has caved in. And here comes Liquido's shirt-up celebration. Uh, or not. Huh? <gasps> How do I get this belt off? With my lucky charm. Coach, Liquido's signature celebration. He didn't do it. So? Really? Put me on, and I'll find out. Can you even get close to Liquido with that belt on? One chance is all I need. <laughs> Hundreds of hot dogs, ready to roll! Woohoo! So delicious! Two for me, please! <laughs> Thanks, man! Gotta scram! Something big's happening! Good riddance to bad nourishment. Tell your friends, okay? Super Striker's substitution. Ah, finally! But it hasn't worked. <laughs> Guess we have final proof your charm isn't lucky, bro. You should worry about your own lucky charm. <gasps> what? Huh? Was Tiger wearing a weight belt? But that means... You think underwater training makes you fast? It's nothing compared to weight belt training. Liquido shoots! Big Bo is beaten! What? Looks like the tide may have turned. Dude, I thought you'd take Twisting Tiger any day. <sighs> 29 miles an hour for Tiger! But Liquido is still on him, Max. <clears throat> no! The Super Striker's winger has gone supersonic! 30 miles an hour! Hey, Liquido. See, my lucky charm always delivers. Hey, uh, do you think if I kissed that thing, I'd get more lucky? <laughs> well done, Tiger. That was some plan. Now, unless I'm mistaken, it's time to chow down on some epic hot dogs! Woohoo! <laughs> Get your hot dogs here! The finest hot dogs ever created! Hey! Isn't that our celebration meal? Now that's fast food! Jacques, what is going on here? I'm just giving the people what they want. And they wanted hot dogs! But what are we gonna eat? Finally, a five-star gourmet fist pit for Super League Kings. Bon appétit, Super Strikers. 
Uh, what is that? Uh. <laughs> Being the most refined of all of you, I love this gourmet food. Snails and fish eggs. Whoa! Coach, where are Tiger Shakes and North? Do you really think I'd let them join the feast after the stunt they pulled? Oh, shame. Poor guys. All right, Tiger! <laughs> Uh, but how? They ran out so fast. Not as fast as me. <laughs> Seven hotels, 200 restaurants, 130 shops, and an unbelievable 150,000 fan capacity. Welcome to Sultan's new stadium, the Delight. We now cross to our commentary team for the inaugural game. Thanks, Lena. Goliath Stadium. It's massive, it's jam packed, and it's noisy. I wouldn't want to be in Nakama's boots right now. That's loud. I'm finally. Game on. If anyone can handle the noisy home crowd, it must be Nakama. Aye, Nico and his men are renowned for their concentration. You think you're gonna be able to handle this, Shakes? Yeah. I've been working on a killer new move. The only thing you're gonna hear from the Sultans fans is, no, how does Shakes do it? Ah! And what about you, Spenza? It's gonna be difficult to chant louder than them. Ha, you're talking to a super fan, son. We're the loudest in the business. Ooh, Nico's in a promising position. The Sheik wants the whole fans to make even more noise. That's even possible. This noise is unbelievable, Mac. What? That's it. I'm calling the landlord. Man, we've got a lot of work to do. Miko, what happened out there, dude? We were ready, prepared, but that sound. Come on, brother. You've played plenty of mega stadiums before. You cannot understand it until you are out there. Hmm. I've never seen Miko that spooked by, well, anything. That's why we're doing extra preparation to handle the Sultan's fans. Prof? You may be used to lifting uh, dumbbells, but today you will have to contend with decibels. What? Exactly. Decibels and watts are both ways to measure loudness. The first challenge when playing in front of a noisy crowd is communication. I've developed a series of uh, hand gestures to use on the pitch. Learn them all. Sure thing. Or rather... Your budgie has toothache? Uh, perhaps I need a little more time to learn them. All right, super fans. Our mission, the Goliath. 200 restaurants, 130 shops, movie theaters, arcades, ice rink, petting zoo. I can't promise all of you will make Spencer! it loud. Super friend. <laughs> uh, just getting the crew G'd up for the Sultan's game. Let's focus on out singing the Sultan's fans, not out shopping them, yeah? <laughs> All right, guys. I've got some awesome new chants to try out. But first, warm ups. One, two, three. <gasps> okay, boys. You've learned the hand signals. Some of you have learned the hand signals. The second challenge when playing in front of a massive crowd is how you handle the noise. 
Come on, coach. The fans don't make that much difference. Pros like us have perfect concentration. What were we talking about again? According to my calculations, this should be... A perfect simulation of the Goliath! His new move. Is a hostile environment like the Goliath really the best place to try a new technique? Let's find out. What was that? We didn't even wake up Sandra. Again, and this time, make it count. Strikers, welcome to the Goliath. I have no doubt it will overwhelm you with its facilities. Food, clothes, accessories, cinemas, an ice rink, a petting zoo. Goliath has everything you could possibly want. And you, as my guest, can access it all with your very own personal GoPass. Whoa, thanks, Whoa. brother! Hey. Whoa. Very kind of you, Shake. But the only thing we have time for right now is football. You taught him the hand gestures? The stadium is full of spiders? We gotta get out of here! Never mind. So, what do you think of the Goliath? Dude! I wanna live here! So many awesome things to check out! Well, this all-access go-pass might help. <gasps> I will only use this mighty tool for the power of good. And maybe some snacks. It's go time. <laughs> Match day at Goliath Stadium. And I have to say, Super Strikers are looking cool as ice. Say it, you have to shout it in this stadium. All right, guys, let's show these Sultans fans how it's done. One, two, three. Super Strikers rule the pitch and we control the stands. Goliath Chiefs goes had a chance against the Super Bats. Spenza, where are you? Ah, oh, go pass. How I love thee. Oh man, I gotta get field side. But I'm not gonna last 90 minutes. Oh. It's go time. Super Strikers look to assert themselves early on. And so do their fans. Sublime! 
I don't know what happened. I had that move down. Playing in front of all these fans is totally different to training. Maybe keep it simple next time, Shakespeare. Yeah, give the ball to the player with the perfect... Uh, concentration? That's the stuff. Ah, much better. <gasps> but I'm so late! Friends gonna be mad? Shortcut! Go time! Huh? Hey, I thought this thing was all access. The home support wanted Super Strike as attack. Now, can they help Sultans take the lead? <laughs> Not if North Shaw can help it. Go to the south or the east or the west, but if you head north, you'll be dispossessed. Wow, the Super Strikers fans are really doing their part. But there's nothing compared to this whole crowd. That's like Sultans have a 12th player on the pitch. Doing here. What indeed? This area is off limits to to everyone. Everyone. Uh, go pass. <laughs> and don't come back ever. ever. Wow, pretty decisive first half, eh, Brenda? Yep. The team with the most fans wins. Nico was right. You really don't know what it's like till you're out there. I don't know, guys. There's something weird about that noise. That sounded like a million people, not 150,000. Yeah, uh, where are they hiding, Shakes? The ice rink or oh, the petting zoo? Go passes. Uh, don't actually have mine on me. The go pass is the only way to access restricted areas. Huh? Oh, man! Spencer! Uh, Half time? Where were you? Uh, not sure exactly. This place is big. Endless corridors. Bottomless sodas. I'm sorry. I haven't been much of a super fan. But I promise to give 120% in the second half. Huh? Shades? There's old yogurt in my tog bag. Go fetch the itching powder. You say potato, I say potato. I've got it. Something weird's going on here. Use the go pass to investigate. Come on, friend. It's go time. Spence has stop. What about your promise? Super Strikers need us now more than ever. Fran, being a super fan isn't just about what's in here or here. It's about what's going on in there. Okay, fine. Spends a PI. Let's investigate. Hmm, but we need a way to get past those grouchy scientist peeps. Go time. Working. Uh, uh, and it was then that I realized E must equal MC squared. Yeah, happens to me all the time.
rebooting machine for second half. Power okay. Amplifiers warming up. fans weren't enough, so the Sheik added a few million decibels right underneath the pitch. Huh. No wonder Super Strikers can't handle the noise. We gotta shut this thing down somehow. And I think I know how. You mean? It's go time. Game's about to restart. Let's see if Super Strikers can make more of an impression in the second half. Uh, unlikely, Mac. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse for the men in red, their fans desert them! Shakes, what did you say to Spenza? Whatever it was, I don't think he understood the hand signals. No ghouls and no fans. Can things get any worse for Super Strikers? There's the signal. That's a go, people. Super fans. Let's do this. <laughs> Perhaps all Super League teams should build themselves a bigger stadium, Mac. Hey, scientist peeps. You can't be in here. This area is off limits! We're not going anywhere till we shut down that machine! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Our decibel generator is made from titanium alloy. Titanium! It's practically indestructible. Practically. But we already know it's one weakness. Every machine's weakness. <laughs> Super fans! One, two, three! The Sultan's chanting, it just disappeared. I know, what happened? They did. Even I know that hand signal. Come on guys, let's win this for the fans. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Now, how about the classic? Count us in, Spens. One, two, three, four. Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Remember, Six, content! Ah, oh, never mind, just score the goal! Super Striker! Super Striker! Our turn to cheer. One, 
two, three, Superfans! Super yeah! <laughs> Bye, CSU, we're awesome. We rocked that! Hard luck, Shay. Yeah, I heard you had a sound strategy. Pity it fizzed out. <clears throat> Thanks. And I have something for you, Shakes. Uh, what's this? Your go pass bill. Okay, the bus is leaving. Gotta go. What? Who buys a hundred and thirty sodas? The lion cheers those hand against the super fans! Yeah!